Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Larceny Barrel Proof A120. I need to give a special shout out to Jason Coates for obtaining this bottle for me. It is greatly appreciated, my friend. With that being said, let's get into this whiskey. Larceny Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey was first introduced in 2012 by Heaven Hill. The name Larceny and key pictured on the bottle is from a story of John Fitzgerald, who was thought to be a treasury agent using his key to the warehouse to take bourbon from the finest barrels, which were referred to as Fitzgerald barrels. This weeded bourbon is now ready for its first ever line extension by introducing the Larceny Barrel Proof. This weeded barrel proof bourbon is set to be released in batches three times a year in January, May, and September. Each release will vary in proof and consist of weeded bourbon aged between six and eight years. The Larceny Barrel Proof is a Heaven Hill product and this is a non-age stated whiskey, but on the back of the bottle it does say this bourbon consists of whiskeys between 6 and 8 years old. The mash bill on this is 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% malted barley. The ABV is 61.6% with 123.2 proof and an MSRP of around $55 to $65. Let's check out the bottle for a second. Darn guys, the bottling on this one is your standard Larceny bottling, just a little bit different labeling. Right here on the front of the bottle is the keyhole. Right here on the stem of the neck is the key. Kind of cool, really. The key's right here that John Fitzgerald would have. And this is the keyhole where the key would be inserted, signifying that the bourbon in this bottle is some of the best bourbon in the Rick houses. On the back of the bottle, it does have a little bit of a backstory about John Fitzgerald being a treasury agent and how he would sometimes give in to temptation and sneak into the warehouse and get some whiskey for himself. Also on the labeling right here, it does have the ABV and the proof. And right there is the batch number. The significance of that, it's released three times a year in A, B, and C batches. This is A, that's what the A is referring to. The first number being one, which would be January, and the second set of numbers being 20, would be the year 2020. So if you were wondering about the batches and what that number or letter number combination signified, that's what it is. This is A, the first batch. It was released in January of 2020. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. Dark right, guys, on the color of this one, we're gonna check it out. It has a nice, deep copper or amber color to the whiskey. I'm gonna coat the glass a little bit just to see how viscous and oily the whiskey is. And as you can see, I hope you guys can see that, it really is just painting the insides of the Glencairn. Very viscous, oily whiskey. That's what we want. Nice viscosity on this whiskey. Let's get into the nose. Right away on the nose, you're getting this sweetness, like a vanilla cake frosting or a, a cake icing. Very sweet nose. I'm getting some caramel, some brown sugar and molasses. And like a, a little bit of a nutty characteristic also coming through on the nose. And a Cracker Jack. I've heard this said before, but it's definitely coming through on the nose of this. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Cracker Jacks. I'm sure most of you are. I remember as a kid opening up the Cracker Jacks, grabbing the toy out or whatever, and just kind of tilting the box back and just going to town on the box. And that, that, that aroma that you got from the, from the Cracker Jacks when you had that box just tilted back is definitely coming off this whiskey. It's, it's a really a, got a Cracker Jack sense to the nose. Very sweet, caramel, like a walnut or nuttiness to the nose. Some molasses, and it also has a little bit of a fruity characteristic, but not like a soured fruit, almost like a, a crisp, freshly cut red apple on the nose. There is a little bit going on in the nose, a little bit more than I would have thought at first i thought the nose would have been pretty simple straightforward but on the nose it does have a little bit 
of complexity to it. It is changing. Definitely that vanilla cake frosting coming through. Brown sugar, molasses, almost like a walnut note. That nuttiness, that Heaven Hill nutty characteristic is coming through a little bit on the nose. Not as prevalent as some of your other Heaven Hill products, but it is there. And, and, the, and the aromas are dense. They're dense, rich, like the vanilla frosting or, or cake icing. It's a rich, very rich, dense cake frosting. A rich, dense molasses. Nice brown sugar. That Cracker Jack note is there. Very nice nose on the whiskey. And, it, and for being 123.2 proof, it's very approachable. Very approachable. I wouldn't recommend if you're not used to high proof whiskeys just diving right into the Glencairn. But I tell you what, it is very approachable. There's not much of an ethanol sense to it at all. Very nice nose of the whiskey. Once again, there's a vanilla or, or cake frosting or cake icing. A nice Cracker Jack note. A little bit of walnut. A dense molasses and brown sugar. A little bit of an oak note. Not an overbearing oak note at all on the nose, but it is there. And it's just a nice, very nice, somewhat complex nose to the whiskey. Very nice nose. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. First sip, I'm getting like a vanilla frosting, very mouth coating whiskey. Finish is kind of still going. I would say finish is probably middle of the road to the short side of long on the first sip, and it is kind of finishing off in a nice molasses brown sugar oak note on the first sip. Very nice first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Mm. Coating the mouth extremely well. Vanilla cake frosting, vanilla icing. Mid palate, I am picking up a little bit like a red apple and some mild cinnamon. Back of the palate, I am getting molasses, a, a dense, rich molasses, brown sugar note. And it's finishing off in like a, a, a nice, oaky molasses note on the first sip. I would say the finish is probably middle of the row after my mouth has become a little more acclimated to the whiskey on the second sip. Very nice second sip. Let's go in for a third. Cheers. Very, very consistent consistent on the palate. Vanilla icing or cake frosting in front of the palate, mid palate, a little bit of a mild cinnamon, a little bit of a walnut note. Back of the palate, it's brown sugar and dense molasses and a nice oak note rounding off the finish. Very, very nice pour. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Larceny Barrel Proof A120. It's an outstanding pour of weeded bourbon. Yes, it is sweet, but that is typical of weeded bourbons. And it is very well balanced. It's not overly sweet for a weeded bourbon. That nice oak note on the finish does kind of round this one out. And in a $55 to $65 price range, it is a great value. Excellent pour, great value. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.